What is up guys, Butter Something here, and in today's video, I want to talk to you guys about the VR community as a whole, as well as what I think companies really need to do, so that we can kind of get out of this, oh, VR's dead, VR's a gimmick kind of pattern, because obviously, if you guys have been in VR for the last two or three years, you know that it's always a pattern. We always have like this big rise, and then some stupid news comes out, or something dumb happens, whether that's NFTs, or meta spending billions of dollars on VR and no one understanding what necessarily that actually means. Just thinking they threw it all into horizons. Yeah, it's it's fun and it never gets, you know, any easier explaining VR. Which is why today I want to kind of talk about what we need to do as a community. As well as what I believe these companies need to do to make sure that they do their due diligence so that we stop going through this vicious cycle. Now, I don't want this video to take too long, so I'm just gonna kinda get straight to the point. In the last three to four weeks, I've seen a lot of talking on Twitter, Reddit, YouTube, just videos wise, about how people explain VR. And VR users, myself included, are very set in their ways when it comes to how we present VR, and I think that needs to change. And I think these last three or four weeks with some of these talks that I've seen about people saying that they talk about immersion rather than people not necessarily knowing because they haven't tried it is a great way to approach this issue. Because graphically, VR, unless you're doing PC, standalone is not that great visually. It's not. There are some very visual, you know, high fidelity games out there, but not every game is like that. Most games are just low graphics experiences. And for me, I know that a lot of these are cool, but when I tell somebody that they don't understand and they're wrong about VR because they don't understand, that doesn't come off very good to those people, and it seems like you're disrespecting their opinion. When we're not disrespecting their opinion, but we know as VR users that until you experience VR, your understanding isn't fully there. And I think the way that we need to kind of approach this is tell people, look, it's not about how graphically you know, pleasing a game is in VR, it's about that experience being immersive. And that is what we need to start doing with a lot of people when we talk to them about VR, because when we belittle them and make them sound like they don't know what they're talking about, although sometimes they do not and they don't fully comprehend it, we need to just explain to them that VR is about the immersion and not necessarily the high fidelity gameplay. Now, to talk about this second topic, the VR industry as a whole lacks authentic marketing. And as you've seen here, I've been playing Grimlord in the background. You know how video games work in VR. I'm actually grabbing those areas. I'm actually pulling back that string. But to someone who has not experienced virtual reality, to them, it looks like just another game. It looks like I'm just probably pressing buttons to make something happen. Yeah, my hands are free moving, but more than likely I'm pressing a button to pull the bow back and so on. So for me, I think what, you know, Zuck or whoever wants to put their headset out there to sell needs to do is they need to get into contracts. And Zuckerberg has already kind of started that with the Quest Pro and I believe Vario also started that in game stops i believe certain game stops and same thing with the quest pro certain best buys you can try the headset at but i think we need to get gaming headsets out there in a big way rather that's standalone with the quest or you know big ticket index you know htc vive all that stuff doesn't matter they need to get their headsets in people's hands on people's heads and let them try it in store because the only way people are going to understand why vr is different from regular gaming is to try it and that's why we need to talk about the immersion because until someone tries it they don't understand the difference fully it just looks like another game to them now 
I have a story where my friend, I talked, talked, talked about VR nonstop for like two months. I loved it. I was having a great time. Anytime he wanted to play a game, I was like, sorry, man, I'm playing VR, bro. I'm playing VR. And when we did play a game, I would always say, they, you know what would improve this game? VR would improve this. It didn't matter what it was. It was always VR will improve this. And although that may be true for a lot of us, it wasn't true for him. Until one day he said, look, man, I'm going to go and buy this. It's whatever. I don't care. If I don't like it, I'm just going to return it. I said, okay, cool, man. You know, you're going to like it. You're not going to have any issue and you're going to have a great time. Just be careful of the, you know, whole motion sickness thing. He gets back. He puts his, you know, I'm in discord with him. I put my headphones on. We're talking. I'm helping him set up. He, and he's like, okay, I'm going to boot this up. He boots it up and just gets into the home environment of the quest Two, and has a disappointed voice and says, why didn't you tell me to get this earlier? And I told him for the last, the last one to two months that all I was doing was playing VR and he needs to get one. So long story short, when you get people into these headsets, they understand instantly what the difference is in VR versus flat screen gaming. And we need to have in-store demos. That's it. That's all I wanted to say. That being said, thanks for coming to my TED Talk. Uh, my name is Butter Something. I want to thank you all for watching, and if you made this far, I would definitely appreciate a like on the video. And if this is your third or fourth time seeing me, and you've enjoyed, and my voice is not annoying you yet, um, <laughs> definitely make sure to hit that subscribe button. That being said, again, my name is Butter Something. I want to thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.